Hello everyone, I am going to uh, discuss some questions and answer that are basically that I have faced in my recent D100 exam of Power BI. So in this uh, tutorial, I am just uh, going to discuss these questions that I thought that are very important whenever you are going to appear for an exam of D100. So let us start with our first question. So our first question is like having a table and a column name and in this scenario this table is approximately having 30 million records per month and you need to create and add analytic system to meet the following requirements so first we need to present an impression count for a day campaign and site name of the last year and the minimum uh, data model size so which two action you perform so whenever we have to you know going to minimize the data model size so we have a fundamental in the database where we are going to group by and then we, we are using the count row function the same uh, logic you need to apply here so first we have to group the impression query in power query by add id site name impression date and then we have to aggregate those column id by count row function and the second thing that we need to do we have to create one to many relationship between the table so as you know that there are like one to one relationship okay in which there is the relationship between table a to b and there is the one to many relationship in the uh, database in which we are going to create a relationship between a table b table and then c table so this is a kind of one to many relationship so a and b is the correct answer so let us start with the second question and in the second question um, we have a scenario where your company has training videos that are published to microsoft stream so whenever you are going to stream part there are the surface video directly in a microsoft Power bi dashboard so which type of title should you add so whenever we need to work on the the uh, streaming part we have a feature in power bi custom streaming data so only way to visualize a streaming data set is to add a title and use the streaming data set for more information you can go to this link to store microsoft.com and this is the topic uh, where you can read about the real time streaming in power bi okay so this is a kind of uh, uh, you know tutorial from where you can read more about the streaming part the third question is the regarding like we have the customer list okay in which we have rows of data and we need to import the list into power query editing so we need to ensure that the list contain records for each state region to which you want to target a marketing campaign so which two actions should you perform first we select the column distribution the second we need to select column profile for more info like this is the kind of column quality and column distribution and column profiling that is going on in the uh, power bi feature and for enabling this first we need to go to the view tab and data preview group and then we need to ch check these three column quality column profile and uh, column distribution okay we need to turn on this feature so this is the way how we need to enable column profiling this is the option then you need to go preview feature and then you need to enable column profiling okay for more you can go through these two these two references poverty solution and all containing in this you can go through the profiling quality and distribution feature in power bi so here you can go to the file and then you need to check this column quality column distribution and column profile if you are not able to go to this link then you can go to the microsoft.com and power bi features from there also you can get all the data 
okay and all the you know options and features of power bi so i always recommend to go to the doc store to microsoft.com if you are preparing for algebra practice test storage studio for any kind of work related to SEO. so our next question is we have an api that it in more than 100 columns okay these are the sub samples of the column name and we plan to include only a subset of the return column so we need also we need to remove any column that have suffix of source id okay so this is the code hmm. and we have as you know that what kind of work you need to do first we need to remove that have any kind of source id then we have to select this column name and then we get uh, you know we need to get source id so our first answer is table dot remove column for removing those column okay yeah so uh, the second answer is list of select from where we are selecting the column name and third is text connected okay for more uh, for more uh, you know information regarding this topic again you can go to the community dot power bi dot com and because in uh, this power bi community we have uh, you know different type of questions anybody can ask questions and mostly you will get the answer so if you are going to have some project in this uh, uh, power bi then you can join this so let's go to the next question so our next question is like we have a uh, asset okay always remember that there are some scenario where we have to build data set from json files and uh, because in json we know that we have an array of documents so we need to import those attribute as column from all the document in the json file so first of all what should we need to do we have to expand the records okay then we have to add uh, columns that use the date type conversion and then remove the list to the table so these three operations you need to perform whenever you need to work on the json file then load the data and click on to go to expand it okay for more information again you, may, you can check from uh, your power bi community or other docs.com next question is you need to import to microsoft excel table the name is customer nano address these are the columns okay and customer id and address id is kind of column that represent unique rows okay so there is no duplicacy in these two we need to query that has one row per customer okay and each row must contain these three country statism and city for each customer so whenever you are facing such kind of scenarios you should aware of that merge and append okay so these are the two primary way of combining queries first one is merging and the second one is appending because here we just need we have only one scenario where we have one row per customer so here we are using the merge the customer and address table okay for more information you can go to the power bi connect data text of save and uh, combine data so here you can get to know uh, like first what's happening that we have to profile then custom column okay so here they have demonstrated each and everything ranking sorted rows okay so this this is the tutorial for these type of scenarios in our next question let's see uh, we have uh, a scenario where we have three versions test production development and we have a data set that uses the development database as a data source 
So we have to configure the data sets so that you can easily change the data source between the development test and uh, production database server. So what should you do? In that case, you need to create a parameter and update the query to use the parameter. Because in data set, uh, data sources in Power BI, we can't edit data sets. So it is using the parameter to store connection details such as instance names okay, and uh, you know database name and it it is helping it is always helping whenever you are creating this kind of variables also why we are using this kind of parameters we are using this kind of parameter because there are some benefit of using uh these kind of parameters like for example this is the tutorial of direct query because our next question is related to the power bi um, direct query in power bi so why we need to use the direct query to get the data okay and from there you can check your if there is a super server database you you have two option first one is import and second one is direct query okay so what is the benefit in import you can select table and column and import it into power bi desktop in direct query no data is imported or copied into power bi desktop okay for multi-dimensional sources like sap or warehouses or dimensional measures you need to create to interact with your visualization so you are always doing the correct current data you don't need to refresh the data in case of direct query also uh, there is the benefit like in uh, uh, direct query we can visualize large data set okay and the underlying data changes can require refresh but there is no kind of need of refreshing the data and in direct query we don't have a limit of 1 gb data set. but again in direct query we have some limitation like uh, in power bi if we are getting some error then it is always recommend to use import and in calculated tables we can't use uh, you know uh, this uh, direct query functionality also we can't auto date and time in direct query and there is a 1 million row limit for cloud sources so for more information you can go through this docs.microsoft so let's go uh, these are the few uh, topics that i have discussed the first one is uh, our data profiling the second one is remove columns containing a certain value the third one is shape and combine data in power bi the fourth one is best practice of deployment pipelines between your test your uh, development and production environment the next topic is use of direct query and real time scoring in power bi so these questions and these topic i have discussed on which i see you what kind of you know questions we are getting in this exam so we almost cover most of the question regarding this topic let me share the another another topic this one is related yeah so we were in the json file data then we discuss about uh, merge and transpose okay oh, sorry merge and this one appending okay and in this we discuss about the text test production and deployment uh, okay how we make the connections and uh, for security purpose you can use our next question is regarding your csv file that contains user complaints a file contains a column name locked lock contains the date and time each complaint occur the data is in lock is the full format this is the format and we need to able to analyze the complaint by the log date and use a built-in date query so what is the answer answer is split the locked column by using it as the delimiter because in column needs to be in date format and we need to split the 
column to a date part and at a time of day part. So we can split a column through different method and in this case column select can be split by a delay method. So this is the topic of uh, uh, Power BI split column delimiter where you can read about splitting of the columns. In this video you can see that we need to split date column by using the delimiter. Okay. And our last question and last topic is you have an Azure SQL database that contains sales transaction. The database is updated frequently. You need to generate a report from the data to detect fraud transaction. So data must be used within five minutes of an update. So how we need to configure the data connection? In this scenario, we need to set data connectivity mode to direct query. Again, as I discussed earlier in direct query, we have in uh, current data okay so in direct query you don't need to refresh the data and what is our scenario we need the current data so that's why we are using connectivity mode to direct query so these are few topics that i want to discuss and I hope these questions helps you to prepare the 100 exam very proficiently. And I hope you are you guys are keep learning in my next video because uh, in this uh, document I have around 169 questions. Okay, in my next video I will share more topics and again more questions so that you can easily crack your exam. So today I am going to end my video but again in next few days I will you know sharing uh, few more topics and I will share the blog from where you can easily read this PDF. Okay so all the best and keep learning post question if you have any query.